Hello friends, welcome to I Made Me Think video series tutorial for REST API testing and automation using Java programming and open source tools. So we were discussing about uh, sequence to be validated using Postman client. So we discussed about what is Postman client, how to install and we also raised the sample request and we got the response and we saw what other things. Now I have saved this uh, the scenario the the request which you need to raise this five requests as a collection in my postman client so uh, scenario one as a collection which has five requests so let us see each request one by one so first will be the sign up request this is using get method so this is the url uh, I have uh, my uh, Tomcat is running on localhost port 8080. This is the path and this is the API. And if you see all the requests having same header, so these are the two parameters which are mandatory in header: content type and accept. Now, sign up doesn't require any parameters. So basically, it is just an URL, and we need to see what is the response. In the response we discuss as per the specification we will get a lot of fields like email id username password um, date of birth or the birth related things and then secret question secret answer sign up post so sign up post so sign up is uh, this is a post request this is a post uh, method and uh, if you see the header same now coming to body so body uh, so as we saw this is a post request and the parameters should be it should be a form parameter it should not be it is not a form data it should be this format so x x hyphen triple w hyphen form hyphen url encoded basically this will be encoded as a form of url itself and these are the parameters so sign up email id password first name last name gender secret question one and question one answer question two question two answer so I have uh, when I raise request I got these two questions so I am putting the answer for this activate so to activate uh, particular account header is header remains the same there is no body it's a get request and if you see in the URL we I have something called query parameter sign up email ID and account basic activation key equal to something so this this key I will get from this post request in the post when I do a post request in the response I will get the activation key which is which will be valid for 300 second now get get so so activate that account using get method and then sign in so sign in again is a post method uh, headers are same in the body you will have to mention your username and password now sign out sign out is a delete request be because we are deleting a particular session ID uh, sub resource so I felt that it should be using delete request so uh, header is same there is no body and in the delete this will be a part of URL now you see sa sign out and this is the email ID and the session ID this will be the session ID we need to mention so session ID I will get it from sign in so now let us run this uh, this request one by one so my Tomcat is running my application is stable so this I am hitting a get request let us see what happens ok that's good so we the, so the status is success 200 ok and we got a payload so we have this uh, JSON format so this let us have this is in pretty format because it's not an HTML and these are, these are the different fields for example sign up email ID your email ID sign up so note that this is a JSON format so this may not be in sequence so, so by that what I mean is this this sequence may not be same or payload might come at the first place so uh, that is how is the JSON format uh, sending sequence so in a email ID first name last name so provide your this thing so these are the two questions I have but is it it is okay because I can choose any of the questions because it is anyway it's a drop down if you see the real example now sign up post so I am doing a sign up post request now so these are my parameters this is my email id hk45 at hk.com uh, password and uh, these are other things which are all correct as per specification and within the range 
so i am hitting a sign up or create account request the real create account request using post method uh, well, i have raised the request now let us see the response so okay so there was some issue in the body so i have corrected that so basically it was not as per the specifications which is there in the sign up uh, post request so just go through this specification and prepare your uh, parameters here so i'll just save this request so next time onwards it is clear so now you see the request is successful so i'm getting 201 so i'm not getting 200 i'm getting 201 201 is to is for creating a resource so resource is created and we will get the success response so uh, this is these are the json format so additional message activity status and payload so as you can see the payload is the activation key which i will require for subsequent uh, requests and now let's see the header so header length is this so content type is this so the server has replied with the content type application json and other things activate so now you see in the activate there is only header there is no body and in the uh, this thing in the in the url itself we need to provide the basic activation key which is i have, I have copied it from there and I, I just pasted it here okay now let us raise this request so this is a get request there you go so now this is a success response so we'll get 200 and then these are the uh, this is the format in which we'll get the response so additional message activation status payload so uh, valid activation key found and account is activated good sign in so sign in is a post request uh, the header remains the same and in the body we need to just provide the email id and password again these are the parameters which are as per the specification so sign in post sign in is a post request so i need an email id and password so i i will just do a sign in okay so basically sign in has given a internal server error that is 503 so to mimic the real world application to mimic the real world scenario what i have done is the web application which i have developed user management uh, so every 10 minutes the application will be down for maintenance so it will be in forever loop so this will mimic the uh, real world uh, scenario wherein sometimes you know the, because of uh, some database or some patch or some bug fixing we will uh, we will take the application down for some reason so this is the uh, equivalent this is the simulation of that so every 10 minute every 10th minute it will go under maintenance so no matter what api you are calling you will just get this server or database is down for maintenance later after so it will be down for one minute every 10 minute the application will be down for one minute now it is recovered now so let us sign in once again okay good so you have got the 200 response that means it was successful basic account sign in successful please use following session key for further operations so this is the sequence so first you get this sign up get all the fields and secret question then you do a uh, actual create account and you provide the uh, secret question answer your personal email id and this thing uh, you need to activate your uh, account using the activation key which is a response in this request and now uh, you uh, so i have done a sign in so after sign in after providing the correct username and password i have got something called activation key oh, sorry i have got something called session id so please use following session key for further operation this will be part of payload so what is a session key so basically a session key is when you do a sign in in particular application uh, the application will consider that you have signed in temporarily of course not permanently so they will give you a session id which will be valid for a certain period if you remain uh, uh, sign in for certain time and if you don't perform any operation then you will be automatically signed out so that is what the session id uh, yeah, concept here is so let's copy this session id for further request and now i am doing a sign out 
so sign out again the header remains the same there is no body and in the sign out as per the specification I need to provide the session ID so, so sign out email ID is this and session ID I just copied the session ID here and let's hit the request okay cool so uh, sign out was successful so basic sign basic account sign out was successful signing out due to timeout okay so now because user has initiated this uh, it has signed out or if you do not sign out then automatically it will sign out within certain period so this is how we have tested the the sequence one or the scenario one so i would encourage uh, viewers uh, to use the application to download and install it using and host it locally and uh, design I mean uh, run the application and run the APIs test the APIs for these different scenarios if you have any questions any doubts please put it in comments I will try to answer most of them and please like and comment and share the video among your friends thanks for watching